All right. We have the um, panel out of the airplane finally. Had to take the CHT out to kind of make it easier. And we've got the box of wire and all the parts we took out. And um, kind of here's the airplane. Without a panel. Pretty bare. And then all that is gone. Also pretty bare. Take these side panels off, take them home, paint them, make it nice and white in here again. And then um, we will go ahead and use the old panel as remove everything and then make an MDF mold out of this. And then we will uh, lay up the carbon panel probably pretty soon. All right, so gonna weigh the components I took off the airplane. So first up is the instrument panel. So 6.47 pounds. All right, now the box of wire and all the other components. 8.8 two hours later 14 so 14.73 pounds the old setup weighed minus the box so that is the weight to beat all right and just for s and g's we'll i dump i've thrown all the new stuff into a box and we'll just throw it on here and see what all this stuff weighs so that's 7.9 pounds, no wiring, no solenoid, and no um, fuses and switches. But the COM, the new alternator, the RDAC, AB30, and the um, engine instruments and the transponder are all in there. So 14.7, almost 15 pounds versus, I'm about, I've got another, this is eight pounds. So I've got seven pounds to play with. And I've got an alternator. So that's, I think I'm in good shape here. All right, um, got all the instruments out of the panel here. All right there. And um, so now then I took some MDF and made an MDF uh, mold of the previous panel and undersized it so that when I have my six or seven layers of six ounce carbon it'll come out to almost the same size uh, as the original as the original panel so um, so now that's done so I have my mold and the next the next step in this whole process is to cover this in um, the aluminum tape so it doesn't absorb any um, any epoxy and then it can be waxed and then really start to cut the carbon and the peel ply and the release paper and all the just we're gonna make a big sandwich and do the um, with the end goal being do a vacuum um, uh, a vacuum layup vacuum bagged <laughs> is what they call it so now this is done I'll probably glue this or tape this or screw this to the table and then use the table as my as my um, my backing for the mold and then all the carbon will be laid down on here peel ply on top of that absorbent on top of that and then the bag on top of that and then hook it to the vacuum put a light on and let it cure so I should have a part uh, in a couple hours <laughs>
right, so now we have the mold taped up and all the mold release wax spread all over it. So I taped it up with the uh, aluminum duct tape and that prevents any epoxy from soaking in. And then I taped it to the table and then ran a bead of hot glue around the edge and then put the wax all over that. Um, and that time lapse, I also cut my carbon and I cut my peel ply. So now I need to just make sure I have a piece of bag that's going to go over this and then cut my absorbent cloth and then I think I'll be ready to start mixing epoxy. Um, you just want to get everything done because you don't want to be scrambling around once you epoxy mix, especially if it's hot. It's pretty cold in here, but um, it's still good to have everything, get your ducks in a row before you, before you start mixing epoxy. All right, so now we'll um, cut the absorbent cloth and do the layup. Sandwich is made and the uh, thing is laying up and has been laid up and now is being bagged. I always kind of screw up the, the bagging. I should have used a bigger piece of material and I didn't, so I had to readjust it and then I ended up having to just tape it down. Um, so that always goes a little sideways. I'm just not, I'm just not that good at it. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, it's there. It's this is a good, I'm getting a pretty good vacuum, mainly concerned with vacuuming around this, making sure all this is flat and conforms to the mold. And then right here, there's a little scalp, but I, I'm not gonna use all this. Some of this is gonna be cut off um, once I get the panel out of there. So pretty successful. All right, um, the layup is complete. Looks like it cured. I've had light on it and heat going in here. So we'll do another video of unwrapping the present. So it's all trimmed out and um, here it is. New one, old one. <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with it. A couple little undulations in the top here, but nothing that can't be fixed. Um, so the idea here is we're gonna go AV30, iPad mini, and then the MGO Extreme, or Stratomaster Extreme, EMS system over there. So, and then we'll do a bunch of these switches, like there, and a bunch of breakers down there, and somewhere I have my radio, have the little MGO like right there or something maybe. Something like that. Um, and then it'll be a push to start over there. Maybe all the switches over there. Something like that. Switches. Radio. The main avionics. So airspeed. All the instruments of the airplane are on that instrument. And then um, also it's a transponder head. So that'll be a pretty sweet little deal. Um, I guess the next step here is to 
take this thing to the airplane, fit it, um, bring that one with me, and then um, from there bring it back and then start doing like final layout and start cutting holes in this thing and mounting things. And then once everything's mounted, um, I can start wiring it. So we're moving right along. All right, it's next day. We're back at the airport here and we're just gonna fit the panel in and um, see what we have. All right, so the glare of the sun is getting in the way a little bit, but fits pretty well. Um, Glad I didn't take too much off of it on either side where I cut it out because it kind of slipped down in there and it was fine. Um, behind the panel is a decent amount of room, about five inches there. So the plan will be to make a tray, I think, that'll sit down on there where I can mount my radios and chargers and stuff too. But from here I'll mark out where the Cabane supports go down so I don't put anything there and I'm marking out where this fuel indication line goes and um, then they will go home and start cutting holes. Alright so I think that's it for this video. I'll put this one up and then I will um, start a new video on when I start mounting stuff on the panel. So um, I hope you're enjoying following this along and I will see you in a few days for the next installment. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,